Guys, you've probably already seen a million videos as to the Handshow V3 uh, liftgate for the Tesla Model 3, right? I'm not going to do a demo of the, the, the system. You already know how it works. You press the button, the trunk goes up. Easy, okay? What this video is, is let's just say there's a lot of things missing from the install manual for Handshow. And, you know, these are things I couldn't find on the internet. I searched, I looked at many videos, I read stuff, blog posts, forum posts, couldn't find nothing. So what this video is, I'm going to show you um, a couple of things that were really, really, it took me a while to figure them out. I had to do it, up, do it by myself, but hopefully it'll help you or somebody out there, you know, not make the same mistakes I did because this system took me 10 hours to install. Essentially, I could have done it in an hour, maybe two. Nah, maybe, maybe I'd say maybe two hours, maybe two or two or two or two and a half hours. Um, but the reason was there's just not enough um, content out there, not enough installed instructions out there, specifically for the version three, because the version three um, they made a they made a couple changes. So the power doesn't connect under the you know in the front anymore. You know it doesn't connect directly to the battery. It connects to a panel in the the passenger side footwell and uh they did mention that in their video but it wasn't clear exactly as to where and how you get access to it and you know i'll show you there's a there, there, there's a there's a little trick to it um also where the uh i would say where the, the there, there's a status cable that's included in the version 3 that also needs to go under the rear uh deck lid for the car and um that was probably one of the biggest pains in butt because uh you had to pretty much take out the entire deck lid section um the a pillar or b pillar i don't know if i'm saying it wrong someone will correct me i'm sure in the comments um but you had to pull all of that stuff out and it was a pain in the ass i didn't know how to do it so hopefully this video will help you to do it um there's also uh let's see what else what else what else Oh, regardless of what you do, whether you get the, on the V3 system, I'm not sure about the other ones, but regardless of whether you get um, the foot sensor or not, I didn't get the foot sensor, I don't need it, but whether you get the foot sensor or not, you will have to drop the bumper. And uh, if, if you want to install the V3 correctly, I didn't know that going in. I thought, hey, you know, I'm not getting the foot sensor, the bumper is safe. Nah, buddy, you've got to drop the bumper. And, um, you know, once you, once you step through the installation, you'll understand why. However, I didn't know that going in, so maybe that will help you. Got to drop the bumper. Um, there are some clips on the bumper that, you know, they're not... Uh, actually, you can watch some other videos online. They have other videos online that shows you kind of how to get the bumper off on these cars. I'm not going to get into that, but you got to drop the bumper. Um, there are also some grommets, and and you'll, you'll see once you get in there... Once the bumper is down, there are some blue grommets that's back there that that's where the cable has to pass through. So you really don't make any modifications to the car. The only thing that you do modify is those grommets. So you have to drill a hole or cut a hole in those grommets to get the cable through it, right? And the instructions will walk you through that part. Um, so I'm not worried. But these other pieces, man, they're a pain in the butt. Hopefully, they'll help you. Yeah, so this is not a complete video in any way, right? Don't expect that. It's basically the areas of this install that I found to be challenging or I couldn't find enough information on the internet to help me with it. So take it with a grain of salt. Enjoy it. Let's get it. So this part of the install was a real pain in the ass because it wasn't clear as to where to find the power for where to connect the version three hand show okay so let me, let me let me show you exactly where this thing is you're gonna you, it's it's crazy so all right guys so here's what you got to do right so passenger passenger side right so this this panel here this trim piece right this whole trim piece goes all the way up there right you got to take that out first thing right actually you can see my uh my power cable my hand show power cable here i gotta tuck that under a little bit more i don't want to get it pinched but yeah I'll, I'll work with that later but this piece Pull this up, you know, you know, pretty easy. Grab it from the bottom, get, get your fingers under it, just pop straight up, right? Easy breeze. 
take this panel out. But you also, you know, just following it all the way up, this, the power that you're looking for is under this panel. However, if you take this panel out, you still won't be able to see the power lead that you're looking for, right? What you also have to do is under your glove box, get all the way under here, right? There is one, two, three, I think there's like four or five little screw tabs. You got to take this entire panel down, right? Drop it down. What that's going to do is going to enable you to get deeper under this panel, right? This side panel here, right? Because the screw, the, the, the power lead that you're looking for is mounted to a screw post that's it's right up there. The reason why you can't see it if you only take this panel off is because it's way in there. It's up under there. So you got to take this off, this off, screw is right there. It's a 10 mil, screw it on, done deal. Run your power back, right? So since I'm in here, I figured I'd give you guys a quick tutorial on how to replace or remove um, this whole back trim here, right? It's a pain in the ass, but it is possible to do it. The reason I had to do it was because I was installing the version three hand show tailgate for the model three, right? So as you can see, this is the FM radio module. Um, it also has the the defroster, the rear window defroster connected to it. It's interesting. Not really exactly sure what this is. Uh, okay, so it looks like it's a, a noise filter cable. All right, that goes all the way down. You can see the right side curtain earbag. A bunch of tabs. Yeah, and uh, actually, uh, I'll remove this piece so you can see how this goes in because this was a challenge for me. First, I had no idea what the heck I was doing here. So let me uh, let me try to remove this again, so you can see how it goes in. Oh, it's plastic, so uh, it's a pain in the ass. All right. So as you can see, this plastic piece has uh, these hooks, and these hooks they line up with those tabs in the rear deck right and the reason why you need to take all this out is because if you need to take pull if you need to pull this rear deck up you need to take this you need to remove this entire thing right on both sides i already finished this side so you need to do it on that side as well to get this up and the reason to get that up is if you're installing the v3 hand show guess what that's let me see if i can get in here that'll break all right, I don't know if you can see that, but it's that cable right down here. This is the one for the hand show V3, if you need to install it. Okay. So, need to pull up the rear deck, need to take trim piece off here, trim piece off there, little trim piece over here, and of course, the side trim piece here. So, four pieces. So, let's uh, let's let's get at it see if uh, I can do this with one hand while I'm still shooting a video. Uh, probably should have gotten a tripod, right? Let's see. Yeah, oh, that's gonna work. Let's get at it. Let's see what we can do. So this little pain in the ass has to fit back on the deck like that right needs to get in the tabs it needs to slide all the way back there it is like like that it needs to get in the tabs and slide all the way back all right so i'm gonna do that now all right the panel is back in and as you can see a little gap right there gap's not supposed to be there so all you gotta do is, is grab them and push straight back okay straight back there we go so now it's uh, more or less flush but main thing is that you know you want to make sure those tabs are caught down here and there's no separation between the two all right all right so next up we're gonna tackle uh 
this rear trim here. All right, so. What we're looking at is uh, this, this part, this trim piece right here. Little shark fin point at the end. With uh, that's and that goes this way, right? Cover everything up here, right? That's how that goes. Okay. What you'll see is you'll see a number of tabs. So we have one, two, three, four, about four, four, five tabs that we got to get in there. Okay, and it's it's it, it, it takes a little bit of effort, um, but we can do this. So one of the important things to remember is that this panel goes on in conjunction. Let me find the other piece. Uh, where is it? Goes on with this panel, all right? This little other trim piece. So before you can put this piece up, you need to put this piece back under there because you'll notice that there's a lip. This lip goes under the trim piece. So that lip fits right here, right? This, uh, this what is it, A pillar, B pillar, A pillar, right? So it fits under the earbag into this little space. It kind of completes this situation right here. All right, so let's just get that guy in. There's a couple of tabs. Once it fits, you'll know, because you'll hear it. Oh man, this is a pain in the ass. All right, so that trim piece is back on. This guy right here. All right, so all you do, get the little lip under the earbag, the end part of the earbag, put a little force, and those pins will snap in place. Now this trim piece is flush, okay? From there, can get to this situation and there's a trick with this piece because um it has these little clips that kind of holds it up there right so it, to take it off to put it back on is this is this it, it's it's a process so let me uh this piece itself it just snaps back in you know you line up the tail with the edges right there and it pretty much snaps in but there's a there's a oh, let me show you there are these little clips okay they don't, I can't seem to get them off the car, right? But these clips, these little clips, you know, they have a vertical and a horizontal notches, right? And what they do is they slide. Uh, okay, let's see. They slide into these channels. Uh, there we go. Into these channels right there right uh, right here okay what that does is that if this airbag ever goes off this panel doesn't come flying at you so it kind of keeps the panel up there you know they they really just dangle but you know it's a it's a safety feature so we want to put that back in it's a pain in the ass to get out because you got to go vertical and diagonal to get it back in there and to get it out but it's important safety so let's uh let's let's put this trim back up and uh i'll see you in a moment all right, guys, let me see if I could uh, explain how these tabs um, for the earbag work. So here's the here's the clip I'm talking about, right? So you can see it has a vertical strip and a horizontal strip. Horizontal strip, okay. So those tabs, oh, man, this is uh, hard to do. Uh, there we go. So those tabs fit into these not that notch right there all right so what you've got to do is get one and end first and this is uh, very difficult to do with one hand but we want to get one end right there we go get one end in there Ah. All right, slip it in, all right? Then rotate it 
rotate it. It's plastic, so you know you could put a little play on it. Rotate it. Ah. 90 degrees. Come on, don't slip out. There you go. Rotate it 90 degrees. And then stick the rest of it in there. Okay. Once it's all the way in, just let it go. It'll hold. There we go. So let it go, it holds. Alright, now we just finish up the the rest of the trim. Alright, so here we are, the trim is there. Now we just gotta finish up, just finish snapping in the rest of this. So, as you can see, our trim pieces for the A-pillars is back up. We still have this section. This section is probably the easiest. So, what we're gonna do, it just kind of fits in there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our piece. As you can see, it has really just one tab, and this tab doesn't really even lock into anywhere, it just kind of sits there. Um, essentially, it goes just like this, it just it really just slides in. It's best if you do this with, with the, the rear doors open, it helps, but uh. We're just gonna slide it in there's it's really nothing to it all right so the way that you slide this in it's start at the top all right so you know this is the trim piece right so just start at the top you know put it there lined up with the seat belt and push down there actually that's not completely in but that's the idea right it fits right there it's not really, I gotta get the seatbelt from back there too. That's kind of why I didn't go in, there we go. So make sure the seatbelt is not in front of it. Eh? And uh, just snap it back in. And there you go guys, trim pieces in. Panels is back on, seatbelt is over it. And uh, yeah, that pretty much completes it. Just have to replace these, uh, these four tabs, which we had to pull out uh, as part of the install got to get the trim piece back on on, on this side and that's it we're done